Welcome back to Moodle admin hint number six, which is how to edit the config file. To do that, we're going to have a quick look through, but first of all, before you touch the config file, do not make any changes in any settings in the Moodle config file unless you really know what you're doing. So make sure you read all the documentation, you understand what could happen if you make these changes, because it could crash your Moodle server if you don't do the right thing. So why would you need to know how to edit the config file? Well, the important thing is if there is a major issue or when you're involved in the setup of Moodle, you may need to make some modifications to config. So to find the config file, I'm going to show you where that is on my Moodle server and you can have a quick look and see where to find it and a little bit about what's actually involved or what's inside the config file. Now, remember the config file lives on your server. It is a PHP file and again, be really carefully making changes to it. So let's have a quick look and see what's in there. So here we are inside our Moodle folder. You can see here I have all the typical Moodle structured folders that should be there, uh, plus probably a couple of extra files in there. So custom page is one that I use, but there's quite a few different things. But let's have a look. We're looking for the config.php. And if you sorted it in alphabetical order, you can see config.php is that file right there. So let's open that file and have a look. Inside config.php, we have a very, very small amount of configuration information, but one of them is the database type, and that will need to match the database that you're using with Moodle. We don't need to worry about DB library, it's native. DB host, in this case is localhost, but for you, that could be the location or the address uh, IP address, depending on how your Moodle server is set up. Uh, if your server is set up with Moodle on the same server as your database, then localhost will be the typical DB host. But if you're hosting in a different location, you may need to change that. You obviously need to have the database name, which is the name of the database where it's being stored, the database user, the database password, and the prefix that's being used for your uh, Moodle tables. So most of this you won't have to worry too much about, but if you do come across an issue where your database changes and you need to go into the config file, this is where you'll go and you may need to set a new user or a new password or anything similar. And you also have in here a couple of other important config uh, settings. One of them is the WW root, which tells Moodle where to look uh, for the root of the website. So make sure that that is set to uh, your web address. So wherever Moodle is sitting on your server. And then you also have a location for the Moodle data root, which is the location that files are stored on your server uh, when students upload files or when you're um, adding a new plugin or any, any data related or file related information that happens between Moodle and uh, your plugins or Moodle and the students, Moodle and the teachers, that all lives in this particular folder here. So you, you will need to set that as well, or you may need to set that. Uh, and there obviously is the um, admin as well. So that's all you need to know about the minimum configuration settings uh, that you need to have in Moodle. So if there is a major issue and there's some configuration issue, usually it's just related to the database name, uh, database host name, username and password. They're the things you may have to change. And that's what the PHP config file looks like. Now, last of all, if you're not confident with the configuration file or the information I've just showed you, make sure you have someone who is comfortable with that and has access to the config file because you may need them, get them on speed dial just in case something goes wrong with the server. You'll know you have a contact, someone who can help you fix that. Now, if you are looking at the config file and need to know more information, then the first stop is the Moodle documentation. So go to docs.moodle.org and look for the configuration file page for your version of Moodle. And it will tell you all about uh, what I've just explained, plus any extras that have been added since uh, and some more detailed information. If you're installing on Ubuntu or installing on Windows, there's also some guides on how to do that, which involves information about the config file as well. Same with AWS. If you're using uh, the Bitnami build on AWS, then go to the Bitnami documents and it will explain the configuration as well for Moodle. Hopefully that's been useful to you. And that's a quick rundown on editing the config file in Moodle hint number six.
If you'd like more information on Moodle, there's some courses that are especially for you in how to use Moodle and also in how to create plugins or how to create blocks. Uh, details will be down in the description below, so feel free to have a look and check out those courses as well, and I'll talk to you very soon.